Making headlines today, e-cigarette industry leader Juul has agreed to pay nearly half a billion dollars to settle claims that it targeted children with ads for its vaping products. ABC's Alexis Kostroff Christophorus has the details. E-cigarette maker Juul has agreed to pay nearly $439 million to 34 states and territories over its advertising practices. The two-year investigation finding Juul deliberately marketed its products to young people, even though e-cigarette sales to children are illegal. Marketing efforts including free samples, ads featuring young, trendy models, launch parties, social media posts, and selling products and flavors like mango and mint, popular with underage users. While traditional cigarette use has plummeted among youth, vaping is skyrocketing. In 2019, more than 5 million young people said they tried vaping within the past 30 days. Just the year before, that number was 3.6 million. I'm under no illusions um, and cannot claim that it will stop youth vaping. It continues to be an epidemic. It continues to be a huge problem. But we have essentially taken a big chunk out of what was once a market leader. While not admitting guilt, Jewel saying in a statement in part, terms of the agreement are aligned with our current business practices. We remain focused on the future as we work to fulfill our mission to transition adult smokers away from cigarettes. As part of the settlement, Juul can no longer use cartoons or product placement in its marketing, and its ads can't show users under the age of 35. Jewel still faces nine separate lawsuits from other states and hundreds of personal suits brought on behalf of teenagers and others who say they became addicted to its vaping products. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.